Hi, this is Gleb Bakhmarov. We have a utility function recurs that helps us execute Cypress commands checking the predicate. It accepts several options. Now let's make this more helpful to the user by adding types without changing anything, without going the full TypeScript route. Here's how to do it. I will edit this function because I like copying things so we can still experiment with different APIs with types. And what we will do, we will add TS check directive. This will help us catch errors. Right now, if a user uses our function incorrectly, for example, by passing, I don't know, some number, right? There are no complaints because if we have over recurs, we can see that options is optional and you know, it's, we don't specify any types, right? We can say, well, this could be 42. We can completely break everything and everything just has to run in order for us to figure out it's broken. So we can help with this situation. We can give a hint to the TypeScript check in our VS Code ID saying each parameter has certain type. I found specifying types to be easier done when you use not a functional expression, but an actual function keyword. So I'm going to do this. And now I will use JavaScript documentation comment to give the types for this function. First of all, a short comment explains the purpose of a function. Recursively calls the given command until the predicate is true. Okay, so that's the description of a function. Anyone trying to use it will get this. So what are the types for these three arguments? Well, the first one is command function. It takes no arguments and returns Cypress chainable right, of any. It's fine. Uh, commands. Why? Chainable interface on non subject, subjects, chainable non words, this program, tag has name, but there is no parameter. Okay, we'll figure out it later. The second check function, right, is a predicate. So it gets a value of type any, actually we don't need the name, any, and it returns a boolean. Okay. Now the last one, well, the last one is slightly trickier because it's not just an object, right? It's a little bit more than that. Uh, still a little bit weird. Uh, actually, let's just do it like this. This is the right one, right? It turns type is chainable. Okay, so we need a type for this options parameter. And this type will have limit, time remaining, and log properties. So in order for us to define a new type, we'll say type define, type def, and we'll say it's an object, and we'll give it a name, let's say, recurse options. This type has a property. The first property is, actually, no, we're looking at this object. The first property is the limit. It has the number limit, the, num the max number of iterations. Okay, now, We'll use this type name, recurse options, and instead of object, we'll just say this, which says property limit is missing, right? Well, everything is optional, so we can specify an optional property using square brackets, or I actually like this syntax slightly better, equal sign. So this makes this property optional. Let's quickly fill the rest. Property, time remaining, actually, it's a number, optional, time renaming in milliseconds. And property boolean, optional, log. Log commands log. Okay. So notice now that we provide the types to describe what this function expects. But we now have this red mark, right? But TS check directive is checking how we're using this function. And already we can see that it complains 
about this invalid thing because it's n it's a number, it's not a function. So we'll delete it, and this passes, right? Uh, if we try, for example, return um, you know seven, then this is incorrect because our predicate function should return a boolean. So we'll check it, and finally our options cannot be cast as recurse options. On the other hand, time remaining and log true are correctly cast. Uh, if we try to say limits, right, we're on, let's say limits, incorrect, it says limits doesn't exist. Did you mean limit? So yes, I did mean limit. So this is how you take your plain JavaScript and use a couple of JS comments to give a type to each argument, which makes it so much easier for your users to use your reusable recurse function.